seeing some incredible work produced by young people here at the Hub, in the arts, sciences, even in the kitchen. <laughs> it's incredible. Our colleague, Storm Team 5's David Williams, introduces us now to a very engaged high schooler who is hitting all the right notes. This is no ordinary practice session. Avanji Jax is training to compete against hundreds of young people on a national stage that will showcase their skills in a competition like no other. AXO stands for Afro Academic Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics. High school students from across the country compete in their local communities across 32 disciplines. So all of the STEM, the arts, uh, humanities, um, entrepreneurship, culinary, you name it. Qualifying gold medalists at the local level compete in the national finals. The national AXO competition takes place during the national convention. So this year, um, Boston will serve as host for the national AXO competition. Jax is no stranger to this competition. In 2022, he earned a gold medal in physics. This year, he's doubling down, competing in both earth sciences and music instrument, classical. I started playing, I think, at around three to four. What do you think drew you to playing piano? I know my mom always told me that, you know, when she was pregnant with me that she'd always listen to classical music and, you know, go to concerts and all that. Listening to Avanji practice, he displays a poise beyond his years. I've always talked about that I can play piano and, you know, they'll expect something like, oh, for Elise or all that. And, you know, it's like, yeah, I can play those, but you want to hear something that's better than that. Is there any additional pressure considering it's a home game this year? Yeah, definitely. I was the only winner from Massachusetts uh, last year in the competition, so it's like I specifically, as well as all of my other peers that are competing, have to represent, especially since it's in our hometown. Fortunately, Avanji is from Brockton, known as the City of Champions. Brockton's AXO recruiter, number one cheerleader, and branch president is Phyllis Ellis. Oh, it's a wonderful program. It started in 1978 by Vernon Jarrett. He wanted uh, African-American students to thrive in this field because, you know, there are a lot of athletes out there, but he wanted the students to use their minds. And sometimes it's called Olympics of the mind. Just as professional athletes need great coaching to reach their potential, Brockton has found exceptional national success in the STEM categories, in part because they have the Bill Belichick of science fairs and local mentor, Pat Monty. The kids are phenomenal. Usually I end up uh, finding students that are just under the radar um, and they would get lost in the shuffle, but it's, it's wonderful to see them grow, especially someone like Avanji, who I've worked with now for four years. It's gonna be very interesting to see where Ivanji ends up. If you could pinpoint one of the best pieces of advice you could give to any of the competing students, what would it be? Follow your dream, seriously. And the sky's the limit at that point. I'm a king, I'm a legend in my field, a professional like a One AXO alum and Pat Monteith mentee who absolutely took that advice to heart is Adrian Niles, who competed in 2014. So we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. When did you first start inventing? First started inventing maybe the first time I saw Legos. And I was like, what are these things? And I just became like a Lego like monster, as you will call it. Anything with Legos, I'll put them together. All right, right now, we're gonna do a test. Fast forward past the Lego stage and some very supportive teachers to an original creation that would change everything. A self-balancing Segway style scooter called the People Mover. How much has it changed your life? I mean, it taught me a lot. Um, patience, dedication, um, just even being able to just see an idea and bring it all the way to life was like the coolest thing to me. It also earned him an AXO gold medal and a trip to the White House, where he met hip hop icon, Will I Am. I said, hey Will, you wanna come check out my project? Yeah, sure, walk to my project. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'll be right back. And then next thing you know, I'm standing next to Dean Kamen, which is the inventor of the Segway. Not bad for a kid from Brockton but it was only the beginning. Since then, Niles has collaborated on a tech-savvy clothing line called Overlook. We stopped the unseen from being overlooked. And a bunch of things he can't even talk about on camera. Let's call it a project for now. AXO didn't make Adrian Niles, but it certainly did help accelerate his journey. And we're here now 
now with an AXO participant, Jade Mitchell from Arlington, Virginia. Welcome to Boston. Now, Jade, just tell us a little bit about yourself. You're grad you just graduated from high school, and where are you going next year? So I'll be attending Johnson & Wales University in fall. Um, my name is Jade, I'm 18. Um, this is the Prince William County Division in um, AXO. Um, from the Arlington Career Center, actually. My mentor is here with me today. That's awesome, and you're obviously participating in the culinary competition. What are you making here? Or what did you make? So today, I have a cream of mushroom soup, is what I'm showcasing today at this uh, event. Um, but I made chicken korma with a side of garlic naan and on rice as well. And what does it mean to you to participate in this convention? Um, for me, really, it honestly means that I can step out of my comfort zone, really speak to people, debut my food, and you know, build confidence. That's great. And when do you find out if you won or not? I find out tomorrow. All right, well, Jade, we are wishing you the best of luck. And of course, I'm gonna have to try this. I can't try it and hold the microphone, so I'm gonna do it after the break. And we will have more from the Convention Center after the break.